everybody and welcome back to the outer worlds where I am currently I have been quarantining for two weeks to be able to go see my family for Christmas since I wasn't able to see them for the rest of the year and uh, so my setup is weird <laughs> I'm sitting on the floor with a teeny tiny like 28 inch TV uh, which is also on the floor and my PlayStation's on the floor and my microphone's on the floor and my dog's on the floor right next to the microphone so he might be whining into it and I, I am so sorry if that's the case I'm hoping that the um, that the game itself seems to be doing all right um, I always have to make some minor adjustments when I switch around to different places I love this armor it looks so good so good uh, and there's like a light there's like a window right next to the screen like at an angle so i can see most of the screen but like part of it's in friggin light so we just rescued that guy and we need to deal with the outlaws and the raptodons but the raptodons uh we can use the lab equipment to gas and incapacitate the beast uh, which is what we are right next to. Sorry, this is gonna be so weird. Um, I think I'll just run in and wait, 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 wait. Looks like we're doing that. I actually don't know. Um, I can't remember anyway. I think it's to the left. No, that's that one. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't see. Why can I not see? I feel like I've been like flashed. This is so hard to do this in first person. It's so hard to melee. Oh. How do I? Oh, there we go. Regen a little. You brought, a, you brought a gun to a knife fight, which normally would probably be fine, but, uh... Oh, not right now. We all in one piece? Yeah, what, what the heck is this massive gun? Oh my gosh. Uh... So I am also... Oh, let me see. I was gonna see really quick. I'm recording this on my new laptop. Not on... Well, obviously, obviously not on the desktop. Because this is a PlayStation. <laughs> PlayStation game! But my my new laptop has so far been good. I am recording this not plugged in though. Like the laptop's not plugged in, so I'm gonna have to be careful, and make sure I don't accidentally like go over. You know? Oh, geez, did I do that? Oh dang! And you can still pick up whatever was like involved. Oh my goodness! Just from the leg, I'm like, oh, look at all that stuff I got from the leg. Anyway, look at this place, like some kind of tomb. I also do have the real the... covert labs. Don't gotta advertise it. The real? I thought she said the real COVID labs. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, I do. I should be a little quieter. I, hopefully, I'm being a little quieter than normal because I am home and got lots of family and whatnot here. But for now, it's just the it's just chillings downstairs. So, it's a really small gathering too. Like I realize, I don't know. I've been I've been pretty strict all year with like COVID stuff. But our we're we're gonna have like in total less than eight people in a room. So I think maybe eight max is what we're is what we're doing. And it's just it's just immediate family. So you can judge. I understand. There are a lot of people out there who are doing who are sacrificing like this time and they have been all year um and I, I i respect that a lot so but i decided that i if, if i oh wow is that like a really good one or something it's like highlighted in gold or something am i gonna be overburdened no okay uh, i decided if i quarantined and that if my family quarantined and everything, that we would all, we would be able to meet up, but. Sorry, there's like this, a glare, so it is giving me some problems. Where would I go? See, there's like 
three different things, and I'm not sure which one is going... Like, I can't, like, select the different ones, you know? Uh, maybe, uh, well, well okay. I was like, maybe I do the closest one. Oh, that's outside. You can just, they just open? Sorry, I'm trying to not, like, just, like, totally lean over. I'm trying to have decent posture while looking down at a screen. Oh, hi! Are you aggressive? Who the you? Yeah, you. Get over can here. I, can, can I can I help you? You care to explain what you're doing here? Did you miss the big sign outside? Um, Anton sent me to help. You're in charge of security. That I am. Name's Porter. If Doc Crane did send you, I'd be glad for the help. Bad news is, we haven't been able to clean these outlaws out of the hey, lab. Hey, standing here. Good news is, they haven't been able to escape, neither. <laughs> Could they get out through the vents? That's how they got in. We got that locked down. There's no access from their level without a security key card. That also means no fresh air down there. Probably reeks of wrapped on musk. Couldn't happen to a nicer bunch. <laughs> Uh, how long you've been dealing with the Raptodons? They don't care which side their lunch is on, but the Rapt cells are down with the outlaws, so they're the appetizers. Nice. When it looks like they're fixing to make a sally upwards, I have a sniper pop the lock on a Rapt cell. It's kept them busy. Oh, dang. Uh, that's clever. Thanks. Company will probably bill me, but better lose a rap than get shot, I says. He seems like a little more free thinking than the, uh, the than others. So it's a stalemate. For now, I reckon they got no backup. On the other hand, we don't neither, and our mechanicals all went haywire for some damn reason. Damn mechanicals have always been more trouble than they're worth. Uh, you look down the vents. The attackers entered through. Are you sure they'll hold? Pretty damn sure. The shafts are sealed with four centimeter hatches. They're not getting back out that way without a security key card. They'd need to take mine. Or make a new one in my office, I guess. Uh, I do remember the there was a scientist in the place where we met Anton, like that central location where they were saying something about vents, like being able to like get in and out through vents for some place. I don't know which one they were talking about. But where can I find your office? Why you want to know no that? No reason. Um, I mean, if the if the office is downstairs, I want to be sure it's secure. You said the outlaws can make a card there. One level down across from the cafeteria. But I locked it up, and I got the only key card. To get in, they'd have to blow oh. We'd hear. Okay. Well, I'm just going to hopefully going to ask him. Hmm. So you're sure they don't have any jerry riggers? Not a single mag pick? Oh, that's true, too. Organized crew like this, they probably got somebody to do that. You got a point. Better to be safe than shot in the back. What exactly do you do here? Who, me? Or you mean the lab in general? Uh, yeah, you. I'm in charge of site safety engineering. Most days, that means making sure folks don't run in the <laughs> holes. Pretty... Uh, wait, what does it say? Uh, pretty quiet out here, huh? Normally, I mean. Most days, there ain't nothing to hear but wind, bugs, and the buildings falling slowly to pieces. Whoa, jeez. Why build a lab out here? What's this place for? Soap or something? I don't oh, know. Oh, toothpaste. Years back, they made antibiotics. You could maybe ask Doc Crane what he does all day. Uh, you don't care at all? What if it's something illegal? If it was illegal, the company wouldn't ask us to do it. Easy to avoid breaking the law when you decide what's legal. I guess. All right, let's go. 
Here, I'll put my weapon away. Um... I don't know which one is the right way. Another tactical shotgun I don't need. I could use some of that. Uh, Bard, okay. Mm -hmm. That makes that easy. I think this is the only door. Bath, it's always bath. Oh my gosh, somebody died in here. Oh, this game so brutal. Anything in there? Oh, a mechanical. Oh, frick. Oh, ah, oh, jeez. Uh, let's go over here. Let's see what happens. Oh, somebody died in there. Dang. Locker. Can't pick that. Oh, uh, dang it. My hacking skill too low? I thought I brought... Didn't I bring somebody who's a hacker? Okay. Come on. Give it. I was hoping that would be a way through, but a pit... Um... How do I? There we go. Oh, it's a flame! It's my flamethrower. Uh. Oh, there we go. Electric. Everyone, all right? I should use Adreno. I need to remember. Well, I wish there was a way. There's gotta be a way, right? To, oh, right, for the consumables. Let's actually... Oh, yeah, add that. Uh, put it in. Put it in there. Add. Oh, wait, I already have Adreno on one of the consumable slots. With the inhaler is automatic. Um. Dervish Mist, that's cute. I guess. Let's do that. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure how to access the consumables though, I guess. Like what, cause this is that menu. Sorry, I gotta figure, figure things out always. Journal, codex. Oh, each slot is mixed into every puff of the inhaler for a combined effect. Oh, my, okay, so if I take a puff, like, my healing is increased with the Adreno, but also now I'll have a speed boost for a little bit. System alert. Oh, oh, my gosh, I did not even see you there. I'm trying to not hit my friends. Oh, there's more raiders in there. Oh, dang, I'm reloading. What a terrible time to reload is when I'm speedy. Oh my gosh, that was a big one. Hang on, uh... Did it just explode? What is going on? Oh, okay. That's the last of him. I think Ellie died. Wake back up, Ellie. Corporate commander. Corporate commander.
Okay. What's it? Don't know about you, but this just makes me want to get inside even more. What does? Being attacked? Crazy. I mean, what is... Uh, I'm not sure what this is. Hopefully it's the... Oh. Save has been forcibly opened with its contents tossed. About haphazardly, the remaining notes refer to various aborted projects. Anton's prized research is nowhere to be found. Squish marks along the rim suggests the work of unsettled thieves. Outlaw most likely made off with the work. Of course, it's been ransacked already. Well, we found it. Use the terminal. From G. Trommel. Well, these batch is showing great promise. Anton, and though I hesitate to attempt to face, I might even dare say it's a smashing success. Incidents of cavities have dropped significantly in the test that was using the toothpaste with only minor side effects. Nothing too serious, mind you. Just a touch of blindness. With only, uh, so if you could look into that, it would be much appreciated. Keep this up and you'll find yourself in Byzantium post-haste. Uh-huh. Upon further review of our results, we've uncovered something quite fascinating. While the toothpaste has reduced cavities, it does so only nominally more than the current version. Our results were skewed by the fact that our test subjects had a marked decrease in appetite, and hence were eating much less. That will teach us to monitor our subjects more closely, eh? Seriously, though, the opposite, the appetite suppressant qualities of this new formulation are quite incredible, but the taste and texture leave something to be desired, so we'd like for that to be your focus moving forward. No need to waste any more time on the blindness thing. We've got the boys in marketing working on a solution on our end. Seriously, Anton, you really must let the whole blindness thing go. Your dedication to solving it is admirable, but also a bit misguided, I dare say. It's not really that big of an issue in the grand scope of the whole thing, and pales in comparison to texture and flavor issues, which we'd prefer for you to spend your time on. You're also mistaken about our ultimate goals for the product. The appetite suppressant qualities make this something much more valuable in the townships than even in Byzantium. The need for less food to satisfy our workers can greatly add to our bottom line, so marketing is focusing their efforts in that direction. I'm not certain, but that may have something to do with them rejecting your Apizap suggestion for the name. Let's leave the marketing to the marketing department, shall we? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's not like... I mean, I get it that, like, you know, there are a lot of people, but I don't think there are that many people that you can afford to just, like, starve them like that. Because, like, you still need the nutrient. Anything appetite suppressant, like, I mean, it can be helpful, like, and it can be good, but, like, in some way, like, like, like maybe not good, necessarily, but it can be helpful. Um... For, like certain types of things but like it's also like you still need the nutrients like you still need to eat like if your appetite is suppressed so far that like you're not eating it's uh it's not good like at all like not eating the nutrients that you need not good let sub suboptimal let's just say suboptimal did i i needed i think part of the reason i was coming out here was because i needed yeah. Oh, yeah, I need to... What is it I need for that? It's like restricted stock. Oh, shoot. Well, uh, here, let's sell my junk. Let's get rid of that. That's nice. Uh, I remember there was like a whole thing about it, and I can't actually remember if I got what I needed to. If I got the mag, the mag picks that I needed. I don't think so. I don't think I did. Oh, buddy. I've probably been using them when I shouldn't be. Oh, bypass shunt. That'll be useful. What is light? What? Light ammo. I'll need to double check, but I'm pretty sure my companions do use my ammo. I could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure they do. This really does, this game is like, it's good, but it does feel like a loot-a-thon. Like, I feel like I spend like 40% of my time looting. And then like 40% of my time talking. What? I got a baseball cap? I don't want that. Am I... This is where we were. Mind if I grab a few souvenirs? Is something wrong with- like, what kind of souvenirs? Are you like a crazy doctor? 
I think I just picked up an impacted hammer. Heavy machine gun. I'll take the ammo. I already have the machine gun. Oh. Oh, this is his office? Um. From Finlay. Orson, yeah, he was Orson. You showed me the new lunch rations are harmless, but I've experienced an unexpected flood of, flood of symptoms. I've logged a regular seepage every afternoon. Please find what I consider evidence deposited in your mailbox. Okay, maybe his name wasn't Orson. Shoot, I think, what was his name? What was the security guy's name? Orson, I took our auto mechanical parts back. I catch you swiping for maintenance again. I'll slap you down so hard they'll fill it in Byzantium. We got enough problems keeping them contraptions running. Hey, Orson, if you're up for it, there should be a new batch of concentrated distillate available tonight. Concentrated distillate, so alcohol. Weapon part. This so it's not. I don't think this is. Yeah, it's just messages, so I can't. He said it was one floor down. I should, but it should be one of these. Like, it should be one of the things I've got marked. It's right there. Is this a door? No. That's where I came in. Okay. Okay, good. I was like, if I this is like, uh, I'll be upset if it's, uh, n like, what is it? What am I trying to say? A, like you're stuck essentially. I thought it was gonna be like hey, it's just a drop down. You, over here. Oh, hello. Oh, you're not. Oh, okay. Hello. Hello. Oh, good. You're not shooting at me. That's a start. It's been a bit of a day, so I'll get to the point. Yes, I have Crane's research. No, I'm not giving it back. Sorry to disappoint you. Okay, you're an outlaw? Um... Never met anyone. Uh, Anton wants a problem fix. I imagine he means you. Yes, I imagine he does. But we all have problems. It is the human condition. I am myself ensnared in this wretched place. <laughs> you want to kill me. I don't want to die. Therefore, it is in my best interest to negotiate with you. Help me get out of here, and I will pay you for my life. Hmm. What are you doing? Why are you down here? Same reason you are, more than likely. I imagine we picked up the same tip. Secret research facility, abandoned town, Minimal security? Uh, I'm here because of Anton. No, I'm tracking down a distress call. Crane actually sent out a cry for help? Oh, the poor bastard. Seeing his life's work snatched from him? Must be like losing a child. No, okay. Uh, what do you have against Anton? Crane is the man who runs this lab. Probably gone around the bend fretting over his beloved research. Not that there's anything lovable about diet toothpaste. It's true. Uh, what well, we already knew about the diet toothpaste. Diet toothpaste? Can you imagine a more pernicious example of corporate materialism? I do not know what is worse. Working here, or dying here. Uh, so you went through all this trouble for stealing a formula for diet toothpaste. What matters is that I have been lied to. I was led to believe this was a high-priority corporate facility hiding valuable research. This job was not supposed to end with me stuck in some wretched lab smelling like wraps. So I would be very much obliged if you gave me a break. She speaks quite well. I'm, I'm a sucker for pe people who are well-spoken. Um, what's in it for me? You mean other than the satisfaction of doing me a good time? Yeah. Trust me, I'll make it worth your while. I hope so. I hope you don't stab me in the back. Oh, uh, tell me what you need. The first thing I need is a key card to unlock my door. Then I'd need you to clear me a path out of Why here. Why can't you do it? There are two ways out. The quickest is through the front door, but Cleo Security's bottled up in there. If you don't want to shoot them, I suppose you could talk to them. The other way out is through the loading bay. But you'd have to clear out the wraps for me. Then I could just slip out the back, sight unseen. I mean, she has to also be making this worth my time so that I'm, like, because of the reimbursement I would be getting from Crane if I brought his stuff back. But he is kind of a dirtbag. And, uh, I like to stick it to the corporations anytime I can get, I can. But there's also, you know, I don't know. 
I could just be getting, like, drawn into another, like, moral low ground trap, you know? Um. Um. Anton was worried you might have made off with his research. He even called you cretins. Cretins? Give me a little credit. We are not bandits. We do not steal research. We liberate it. So a few scientists were caught in the crossfire. I will not be accountable for every idiot who wanders in front of my guard. I mean, you, sh you are actually accountable for everybody that you kill, even if you kill them for good reasons. But these scientists, I don't know. They're probably not innocent, but, you know, it's also, they were unarmed. Like, uh, I don't know. Where, where do you draw the, the line at honor, you know, or, or you know, battle, whatever. Um... Um, uh, just to be clear, you aren't common burglars, but you are common murderers. All wars have casualties. I regret taking a life, but we were doing them a mercy. Better to die than live in a state of slavery. I think it's better to choose. Uh, you're pretty conceited for a common bandit. I prefer freedom fighter, but I will not quibble over semantics. Oh, Mally. Come on now. Do you want to be dull and boring and servile like everyone else? Or do you want to break some rules? O'Malley is a good name for a freedom fighter. Mm, I'm going to need a good reason to risk my neck for you. Because Crane is a tool. Because no good deed goes unrewarded. Because doing me a good turn is the honorable and decent thing. Take <coughs> your pick. No. Hmm, why do you think Anton is a tool? Crane is being used by Auntie Cleo. And now he is trying to use you. So what does that make you? <gasps> I'm also a tool! No! I thought she meant like a tool, like a dirt bag, but yeah, I think it's probably it's probably like a double meaning. <laughs> with our our version of tool being like, you're such a tool. And then hers is like an actual, like literal, he's a tool being used by somebody else. <laughs> Um, not trapped in an underground laboratory with half my crew dead. <laughs> Fair. But while I may be trapped for the moment, those scientists are trapped in corporate slavery for the rest of their sad, sorry little lives. Don't you see? I am setting these people free. I am doing them a favor. Won't you do me one in return? I think it's only a favor if they actually want it. You know, I mean, like, you could argue semantics on that, you know, but... Like what freedom is to like in any in, in, in any particular individual, but <sighs> she's not perfect, but she's uh she's on the side I prefer. So all right, I'll help you out. You might be the first stroke of luck I've had all day. Thank you. I'm in your debt. Is I got some. Do I have some questions about you? Ask away. I have got nothing but time. What do you intend? I did, I was curious what she, she says she liberates research, so I'm curious what you intend to do with this. Sell it, of course. Oh, okay. I don't have any use for the scribblings of idiotic scientists, but whoever gave me this tip obviously does. Assuming I make it out of this place alive. And with my ship out of commission, I'll have to oh. leave on foot and hope my luck changes. One problem at a time, I wonder if I we'll be friends now. She'll be a companion. You act like the corporations are your enemy. What do you have against them? From the day we are born, we are made to obey. Never question. Never hope. Never dream of anything greater than the lot appointed to us. Corporations expect us to work until the day we mm -hmm. die. But they could not give a half bit shit about our lives. How'd you end up in this mess? I have been asking myself the same question. Our tactics were sound, but no battle plan survives contact with the enemy. We were acting on a good tip, but the tip never mentioned the wraps. When we hit the lab, those wraps got loose, tore through as many of ours as theirs. Why would you and your crew raid an anti-Cleo anti facility? No one asks why anymore. The establishment tells us to live here, 
work there. Eat that, drink this. All our choices are made for us, so we forget we ever had a choice. How did you get radicalized? I am doing this because I can. Because it thrills me. Because I take a deep and profound pleasure from stabbing at the heart of corporate power, no matter how shallow the wound. I mean, that's fair. All right, now I just gotta find a way to get her out, because I'm not gonna shoot those corporate guys upstairs. They were nice enough people. So now I just gotta find a way to... Can I... Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, here we go. But it's not gonna tell me which one specifically it is. Oh, frick. It's like, you have so many options. I'm like, okay. Oh, he did say across from the cafeteria. Shoot, I think we passed the cafeteria earlier. Oh, yeah, these were the vending machines. So, okay, I'll just head up. I'll head up that way, I think, if I can. Looks like there might be a door here. Oh, th this is a this is a stairs. Okay, perfect. I will head over there because if nothing else, I can let her out the vents. I think. But also, apparently, there's a way. That's probably the loading bay because it's big. But I'll try to get the Raptor Dawn subdued. Anyway, this is probably a good place to stop this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're having a good holiday, regardless of what you're doing. I hope it's safe, and I hope to see you on the next one.